a bit of a charge on and they'll be back uh, back up a little bit further before too long I would think Phelan, Walsh and Bethel Bethel first, Walsh second, Phelan third and Haley fourth at this stage so um, Chickaco Ch from South Australia has worked his way back up from eighth position to fifth so the last hour 59 minutes to go into the race we're now going to see some racing yeah certainly are 53 laps down Cole we might be battling to see 75 laps come up in this race yeah yeah we're talking of 100 at the start but uh yeah, 75, and uh, I've unfortunately turned the stopwatch off, so I now don't know how far into the race we are, which is uh, well, well done. We've actually got 59 minutes to go, according to our timing, uh, timing system. So race leader in the uh, the two-hour was uh, Bethel, the car number seven. There are some interesting races now. It's now a matter of driving a very heady race because with less than an hour to go, you're in third, fourth or fifth spot and you've got a quicker car, you've got to still maintain that speed without doing anything silly and uh, Haley's of course have got a very quick motor car, uh, they've proved that all weekend but can they just keep creeping up and that's what it's all about right now. Actually it appears that they've probably got about a half a lap to pull in plus three other cars. That's right, and, it, and it's going to be difficult, believe you me, but we'll keep our eye on the number seven car because uh, that is the lead car. But I guess the people from Alco Gas have come out here today, Alco Auto, uh, Auto Gas Supplies, and they've come out here, they have watched a great race. They have. They're, they've watched a, a, a very heady race because in uh, very uh, trying conditions, these drivers, I believe, have put on a great show. Yeah, sure, there's been a few offs, but there's been nothing stupid or ridiculous and uh, it's been great they are what they are and that's race car drivers so Greg Blethel leading so far from the Phelan car then Walsh then Haley then the O'Rourke car gee that's run well all day that 34 car it's done a great job Tim Deombrain has moved up they're, they're now in the top 10 in the 85 car and Fletcher and Wood also on uh, on the same uh, lead lap so Fletcher and Wood have done a great job too to come up uh, the uh, current or they were last year they were the uh, the champions from the year before last year they came third this year they're still in the uh, top 10 it's a big effort to ask of anybody to come out here time after time in a three-hour race like this <clears throat> and be in the top 10 at the end of the day isn't it well it is I, and that's the sort of thing you've got to look at all the time you know just where you are in the race you know, how can you improve Actually, the other thing, too, which does happen in, in, in an endurance race, which this is, that guys drop a little bit of oil, a bit of fuel comes out, a few nudges, so that drops a little bit of fluid on the track. That will also be coming into play, too, about this point in time. Yeah, well, the track certainly never as uh, good at the end of the race as what it was at the start, but it's had a decent washout, at, the, at least uh, during uh, the course of the afternoon. Yes, it has at that. And we'll just go through the uh, top four again there, Tony. Bethel. The number seven car was 66 laps down. Neville Haley, John Blanchard in the number 98 car. And also the Walsh car, the 57 car of Walsh in third position. Phelan, the 50 car in fourth position. O'Rourke in fifth. Certainly the race has slowed down dramatically due to the rain. And then of course, secondly, due to the uh, pace car, which is only uh, necessary, of course. We've got a green flag, and green flag means go for it, guys. We are now down into the remaining 16 minutes of the race. 16 minutes of the race. Is it enough time for Neville Haley to get up towards the front? But can uh, Hibbert hold down first place? All they do with the pace car is pick up the lead car. Everybody else from that point has to sort themselves out. So if you're 12 cars back and you're second, that's where you are. Right. Okie doggie. As they come around the NGK corner, up the main straight, it is Hibbert in the number seven car who leads the race at this stage in the Elko HQ three hour.
interesting race. It's uh, been mixed fortunes as always for lots of people. The weather's played an enormous amount and of course the, uh, the pace car, which is a, a safety device, has also uh, played into the hands of some and against others. But that's the way it goes as uh, they go flying up the back straight right now. The lead car uh, in a very happy situation there because Haley is uh, moving like you wouldn't believe as yep. he goes up Holden Hill. He's already picked up two, three going up that hill and uh, will try and get a split on them as they come around. Now but the next next car that Haley does have to get past is car 33, which is one of the cars that he diced for, for two hours of the, uh, the first three hour race. So it's gonna be a hard charge to get past Davison. Yeah, well Davison's not going to uh, surrender a lap. No way known, why should he? Oop, we've got another car come off. And that, of course, is uh, Davison, so maybe it isn't that hard to get past Davison. Well, it wasn't that. That was easy. And uh, we've got Davison on the infield there. He's slipping and sliding all over the place like a kid with greasy feet trying to uh, get himself upright. And, of course, the gap between Haley is down to 15 So oh. Haley from first to second is now 15 seconds. So uh, that's on looking charge. good. Good job doing it. Hibbert goes past us right now. We'll again put the clock on in a few moments. Hibbert goes past. Haley in hot pursuit. And Haley goes past now. Gets out past car number 70. 13.7 seconds, so he has picked up another second. Now, the 50 car and the 34 car. That's going to be the next big dice between third and fourth. There goes the 50 car. And here goes the 34 car of Green and O'Rourke. Now, if they can make up a little bit of move, they're going to see a change as well. And moving back down, we go through uh, Wood and Fletcher. They've, they've done a great job. You know, they've come up uh, from absolutely nowhere into sixth spot. The Parkinsons are up into seventh spot. Langs in eighth. In ninth is Tim Ombrain. Then in uh, tenth is uh, the number four car of Wilson. Actually, it's lovely to see uh, people having a bit of fun with their motor racing. The Fitzgerald Wyatt guys have just gone down to the fence to give their driver the time and also to let him know with a box of Kentucky Fried Chicken and a can of Coke, you haven't got long to go till you can eat and have a drink, guys. <laughs> well, that's what it's all about. This is uh, supposedly uh, the fun part of motorsport. Well, are you having fun? I think we are actually, Cole, well, we're, we're waiting for the cars to come around. I'm just going to check with the, the guys from uh, Elko. John, it's been a great day's racing, hasn't it? It's been a fantastic day today. Yeah, it's been a little bit too wet, though, isn't it? Well, it is wet, and everybody's... Another car around. off, too, I might add. 12.6 seconds now separates first from second, so uh, there is definitely a move on. Sorry, back to you, Tony. Actually, I think everybody's enjoyed it. They've all had to race in the same conditions, but... Thank you, Alco, for a great job and uh, supporting the race, and we hope you're back next year. Yes, well, I think we will be. Thank you very much. Very good. Back to you, Cole. We'll get, you, get the guys again at the end of the race. Our race leader is Michael Hibbert in the Hibbert Bethel car, car number seven. With Hot on the heels, of course, Neville Haley trying to make up ground desperately. Fallon sitting back in third spot. With O'Rourke in fourth, Walsh in fifth, and Fletcher and Wood in sixth spot yeah it's a it's a big ask isn't it for, for Haley moving uh, as he uh, has trying to get through those uh, the uh, cars that he's got to lap them and then uh, try and make up some pace on the lead car and uh, Michael Hibbert uh, has been doing a great job out there in the lead and uh, has not put a foot wrong I tell you what there isn't a great deal of between them as you watch him come down the main straight there's only, I think, three cars between them and not a great deal of time. Only eight seconds pass it, separating them. We are down to eight minutes to go. Eight minutes, so uh, there's not a lot of time to go. Haley is on a charge and a half. As the lead car, car number seven, is about to head up the main straight. There's only two cars between them, and they, of course, are lapped cars between Haley 
and the lead car, car number seven with Hibbert driving. There is less than four seconds separating these two cars now. Less than four seconds, so uh, Haley now has to drive a very, very heady race. He can see that chequered flag in the distance. He knows that he can take this race, but what he's got to do is now play it very cagely indeed. There are no cars really that will give him trouble. He's just got to play it nice and easy. Haley now has one car in his sights and one car only. That is, of course, the Cybiz car of Michael Hibbert. He makes the move already. Don't do it too early, but there's only one or so laps to go, so you've got to make it as quickly as you can. I see the lights on as it comes around the corner. Is that Haley in it front? Is Haley it is out Haley. Haley has hit the front. He's hit the front for the first time in his driving career at the three hour where he looks like, can he go through? We're not going to try and moz him this time. But Haley now leads the pack. He is in the lead lap. There is less than probably two laps, or there's got to be complete laps, but there'd be probably two laps left in this race. What he has to do now is just sit out there and make sure that he can maintain it. So at this moment, it is Haley, the Bethel, the, uh, Bethel car, which of course is uh, not him driving it, then Phelan, then the 57 car of Fletcher, then the 73 car, making up the top five. Checkered flag will be very soon indeed as we're getting awful close to the three hours. Oh, will those guys just be praying for it to be this lap? We're not sure yet. We will know very shortly. There's a one minute left in this race. What? And as they're now entering onto the uh, Elko Gas main straight. Neville Haley goes past There's the now. lead up. There's the lead up. He will have one lap to go. This is the last lap, I would say. One minute to go. A man who's driven so well in that number seven car. That, of course, is Michael Hibbert. Congratulations. They've done a magnificent job out there well, under very trying conditions, as likewise every driver out there. The leader comes down the main straight. And this is, for the last time, of course, the Elko Gas three-hour the chequered flag should be at the ready right now. What a great r run from Neville Haley. The guys have done a great job. He's got to be absolutely ecstatic on this one. First over the line. Come on, big round of applause from all you people down there. Here's the chequered, chequered flag. flag the yep, chequered flag gets waved for Neil Haley. Now, and of course, second, John Blanchard. Second over the line. Second over the line is the number seven car of Michael Hibbert. First of all, I just on behalf of the HQ Race Association of Victoria, I want to thank each and every...